Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do the mob mauler spam on chimps again because Ninja Kiwi keeps nerfing it and I don't know why they should not do it but they keep doing it. So anyways, um, basically uh, a few things have changed up since the last time a, the mob maulers lost a few mob damage. I think it's like 4 went from 19 to 15. That's alright, we can deal with it and today I'm going to show you how to deal with that. So basically... Um, you're going to do a normal start, uh, because the bombs don't really have a, any good upgrades that bring them from like round 20 to round 30, I'm going to be using a, a different tower, so I'll be doing a sub start, uh, just 203 with Alchemist, you can replace this with a ninja or a few other things if you want to on a, a map that doesn't have water or good water. And that will make it so we can go straight into the cluster bombs. So for Dark Castle, I'm just going with darts into sub. I'm getting the advanced intel, triple guns, then out buff it. In between, I'm also going to place down striker jones, and I'm going to get the camo dart uh, for 24, and then the alk for 28. So that will beat the early game part pretty quickly. So of course, we're going to be relying on another one, another tower to help out before we can get it go straight into cluster bombs. So basically for the maps that will work with this strategy now, a few of them, they aren't really reliable, but you can do all, uh, all beginner, all intermediate, pretty much all advanced fairly easily for black border. And then you can also do a few experts with them now. Used to be able to do a lot more, but they keep nerfing it and I don't like that. So let's uh, go into the next step. Alright, so after we get the uh, Alk buff, we can get a bomb here real quick. So a 203, just to help out with a lot of these big clumps of balloons right next to Striker Jones. And then I am going to get a Moab Mauler, I believe, to help out with around 40. This one will do fine. Um, and then after that, we're going to be going for our next upgrade. For around 40, we are going to use the Striker Stun. Uh, a cool trick to do is use it when the mob breaks open so you can stun all the ceramics very nice and then i'm going to be going for a spiked balls i usually like to do one sometimes two spiked balls to help clean up because there might be a few balloons that are getting out so we'll get the discount we'll get the uh, spiked balls we'll out buff it and get drums too um normally i would do two but for this case i'm just going to do one so we get that and that will be all set, and we can go for the uh, villages up on the top. Alright, so for these villages, we're going to be trying to get as much coverage in as possible, while still being able to place a lot of bombs in there. So I'm going to be doing one discount, a 102 for now, and I'm going to be getting a 420. Uh, that's going to give us camo for everything, and you can also grab the free upgrade on the mauler with that, so you get camo and a whole bunch of buffs for the bombs which will make them really good. I'm going to then after this get a balloon impact to help slow down a lot of the balloons. And then after this, we're gonna get a few maulers, a mob glue, and then we're gonna save up to primary expertise. So for the abilities, you can't use the level 10 ability just yet, but you can use the stun ability if you need to. Um, I do recommend using the stun ability on the waves of round 63. Um, uh, so those will help stun the ceramics, and then I'm going to go for some more uh, maulers. Alright, so I did make a little mistake here, and I bought one too many maulers than needed, so I would stop upgrading maulers uh, when round 62 starts, uh, and that will get your primary expertise mid-75, so we get it up for 76, but as you can see with uh, 63, we get lower power mode, and also we can beat up all these ceramics without using the stun, which is nice. But for safety, I would still recommend using the stun. And then we're going to save up for the primary expertise. All right, so hopefully you stopped buying at 62 and you were able to get the primary expertise in time for 76. Um, that will make that run a lot easier. But of course, if you did not get in time, use the stun there and it should be fine. Um, so after that, we are going to be getting a bunch more maulers. I'm going to be getting the cross paths on all of these guys because we get the second tier free now.
which is nice. Um, I'll get the cross path on glue, and then we'll be getting a bunch of maulers up here at the top. Also, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be getting drums on that village right next to the primary expertise, because getting drums will actually buff the Mega Ballista. I'm also going to out buff it too to buff the Mega Ballista again, and that's worth it. So, unlike before, it's now not really worth it to just all out spam maulers because their damage is being reduced and the mob assassin is unchanged so this is where the, the meta kind of changes for the strategy we're going to be getting a bunch of mob assassins at the end and i'm going to pair that with one sabotage ability and that will beat the rest of the game of course you're going to have about thirty thousand dollars left over so i do definitely do recommend buying more support that will help out um, to make the later rounds a lot easier, but with a bunch of uh, abilities from the assassins, level 20, and the uh, stun, it will be a lot easier. So, for the abilities, you can use the stun whenever you want. Um, it definitely helps a lot, and you'll see me use it a lot later on to stun the, some bigger balloons, some smaller balloons, and even some TDTs. For the sabotage ability, you kind of want to save that for round 95 and 99. Um, for round 99, use it after like maybe 4 or 5 DDTs come out, and then you'll get it for the rest of the round. And for the assassin abilities, you can use it on the bigger balloons uh, to help out. You can also use it uh, on a few of the fortified DDTs. And then for round 100, you're going to use them all. For round 98, you're going to use them all too. Now, lastly, for the level 20 ability, uh, you can use it on 94, 98, and 100. Um, I won't use it on 94 because I really don't have to, but you will see me use it on uh, 98 and 100. This ability is really strong. It resets the cooldown and doubles the damage, so you'll see it just melts 98 when I use it. And uh, basically, that's that. That's really all you need to know. Of course, it's going to be... A lot less complicated on a much easier map this is dark castle it's not the hardest map in the world but it's also not super straightforward so it is a good uh, way to show this but any easy intermediate um pretty much all of the advanced and some expert maps you can get the strategy to work just fine of course with the harder maps you might have to do a little bit of fine tuning and challenge editor but after that uh you'll have a pretty cool way to beat these maps. Anyways, that is that, and enjoy the rest of the run. Goodbye.